Hi guys, Shemofo here, back with a brand new game for us all to have a look at. Niche, a genetics a survival game. Yes, this game is being released on Steam tomorrow. There is a demo available to check out, so uh, I'll, I'll give full details about that. Be sure to check out all of the links in the description. And before I get started, a massive shout out to Stephanie Stutz, who I follow on Facebook. Uh, she is a wonderful artist. I, I love uh, all of her, all of her stuff, an amazing style, especially love her sketches, digital art, and especially all of the low poly stuff. I believe she uses uh, Cinema 4D for that. And uh, she works over at uh, Draypole, uh, an agency for interaction design. I believe that, that translates as three pole. I'm not sure though, I'm not sure. I'm terrible, terrible with other languages and stuff. But a massive shout out to Stephanie Stutz. I wouldn't have found out about this game if it wasn't following her. I believed uh, she did some work for Philomena Schwab. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I hope I'm saying that correctly. On her wonderful website, Playful Oasis. There are lots of games about nature and the environment on there, so be sure to check that out as well. So, uh, Niche, a genetic survival game. Looks awesome. A fresh blend of turn-based strategy and simulation combined with roguelike elements. Shape your own animal tribe and find an ecological niche for it to live in. Keep your tribe alive against dangers such as hungry predators, climate change and spreading sickness. My word, my word. Now, I've been involved on the Facebook group for the development of this game for a while, helping with feedback and bug testing, etc. And I've been playing since this game was a tiny little uh, test thing, and that was lots of fun. That really piqued my interest. And there is a playable demo that's available to download, and that is really good as well. I have put so many hours on my game. It's really, really quite addictive. There's no save in that game, but it, for a little demo, it's quite fun featured and certainly if you're thinking of picking up uh, the release on Steam tomorrow when this comes out it's worth having a go to get the hang of the mechanics down it really really is uh, a lot of fun and I wanted to do a video they did a Kickstarter and I was going to try and get a video out to try and help raise some interest for the Kickstarter and I didn't even get a chance <laughs> it was only up for a couple of days and uh, they they reached their goal in no time 2,830 38 backers pledged an amazing $72,375 to help bring the project to life. So thank you to everyone who backed the game over on Kickstarter. So uh, this game is on release tomorrow. That is the 15th of September 2016. So I've been lucky enough to get my hands on a copy. Uh, Philomena was kind enough to send me a key over pre-release. So let's go and take a look at Niche, a genetic survival game okay so let's start a new game now you can't save you can't save <laughs> in the demo I'm so glad that we've now got that we've now got save that's awesome oh we're creating a world and here we are um, so wow this looks lovely oh this is so much nicer than the demo I love I love the little island. I've seen little screenshots of this, and I've had a little, a quick little sneak play, uh, just to make sure it worked. I didn't really go into too much depth. I've, I've mostly been rinsing through playing the demo. But this looks so, so nice, and uh, the GUI has been improved incredibly. Wow, wow, really, really nice. So, this is, uh, this is my male here, Adam, and we start off with Adam and Eve. And I believe lots of lots of the creatures in here are uh, have got names uh, through the community group that was helping uh, the development and the Kickstarter peeps who backed it. We've got down here uh, various traits. We've got speed, collecting, strength, venomous. Oh, it's venomous plus two poison fangs. That's new. Hearing and eyesight. Uh, and then we've got all of our various genes: medium ears, normal eyes. Poison fangs, big body, runner legs, no paws, no paws, sir. Red fur, the, oh, this is all lovely. Black eyes, stripes, a fluffy tail. These are all genes and fun things. What we can lock, unlock, and you have to, you have to be careful breeding them. Um, so we can see, uh, our female Eve is sat on a little nest. So uh, we can, we can breed. She's already pregnant. And I think I'll collect some berries. There we go, and uh, that's his turnover. You can see uh, these three 
I just zoom in, we've got these three little um, uh, green dots on the chest and the, they show the action points that each creature has and you get you get action points for each turn so I want to keep you on the nest but you can gather some berries that's quite nice and uh, I think I'll just skip now you have to be careful this is another game that uses WASD and for those of you used to playing first-person shooters watch out with the space bar I know I'm terrible for it I'm always doing things like pausing and unpausing games like Nomoria. In this game, if we press spacebar, it will actually cycle through to the next day. Or you can just click on this icon down here. So it's next day and we've got our splendid new little pup, Sayana. I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Okay, so let's take another berry and then have a quick look around. Let's see. So I can just wander in there blind or reveal what's behind the tall grass. And um, as you can see, it, with each action, our, our shared food resource depletes. So you have to keep an eye on that. Ooh, a cactus! Can I can I pick cactus without taking injury? Let's let's find out. Oh no, that's going to hurt me. That's going to hurt me. So I have to be careful of that. And our little one can't move yet. And that's all of our action points spent for the day. So. On to the next day. We can gather berries again. And I'm just going to reveal that and reveal this. Uh, we'll, we'll need to have a little explore. And our little one can move. I'm gonna, you can wander off down there. That's nice. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, it started raining. It started raining. Uh, the weather does infect the environment. So, um, I believe plants don't regrow while there are drought conditions on. The creatures are affected by temperature. There's so much to this game. It's really quite complex. You have to be worried about um, who you're breeding. Um, interbreeding can cause a sickness in the tribe. Um, let's go and see what's hiding in this bush. Oh, check out this guy! Oh, I think we need to have some love with this guy. And uh, jump back on the nest. Hello, sir. Hello. Doesn't he look splendid? <laughs> okay, you can just have a quick look around. We've got plenty of food at the moment, so things aren't too bad. We've got something else. Where is it? It's over here. How are we for berries? We're okay at the moment. Oh, it's, it's run out. Run out of space. Okay, so our little one's still only got one action point. Uh, you can just have a little wander off over here, have a little explore. So many more biomes, by the look of it, than in the demo version. I really am impressed. Okay, so, oh, we found a rabbit. Found a rabbit. Let's get to the next day, see if we can hunt that down. Now, on this chap, he's, he's got no paws. I don't think... He's got, a, he's got an attack strength of two. Can we get the rabbit? Yes. Let's have that. That was nice. That was three food. Lovely stuff. And what about you, sir? How are you on the old cactus? No, he doesn't like the cactus either. And another one. And uh, I think... We'll just harvest some... Pay. Look at this chap. New offspring. Excellent. It's a brand new day. You can you can head out. Where are you gonna head out? You can you can't. You're not old enough for mating. But you can wander off with this one. So let's see. We've got oh good. So the, we've got a male, new male and female cubs. Let's check out their DNA. Immunity A and immunity E. So if these if these end up um, if you interbreed too much, you can get sickness from that. What are you? You're A and F. Oh, it gets so complex. Oh, we found a terrible, terrible creature. What is your attack strength? Only one. Okay, I think for the time being, you can wander over here. Well, he's got an attack strength of two. He's got an attack strength of one. Okay, you're going to try and deal with this. 
you can, you can get ready to uh, deal with this chap. And maybe a little bit of support would be nice. Let's get some... Uh, just reveal that and throw one attack in. Okay, is there anything else we can do? These two little cubs. I think I'm going to have a little explorer over here. Oh, he's got two action points now. Isn't that splendid? Right, I think that's everybody's turn. <laughs> this guy looks crazy. Check him out. Check his eyes out. What happened to him? What's going on in his life? Okay, time for some attacks. Try and get rid of this creature before it starts dealing us all kinds of damage. Oh no! It was too much! I've run out of food! I wasn't paying enough attention, and I've run out of food! Now the cactus is gonna hurt me. And rabbits! Rabbits are terrible for just running away. Oh no, I'm hungry! Okay, I don't want to hurt the cubs. We really need food! Our berry bushes run out. Oh no! Oh no, this is all gonna end terribly. Okay, let's see what the next day brings. Oh, it's attacking me! Now hopefully I can I can finish him off. Yes, and we've got some food at last. Great, great. We really need to uh Yes, what a foolish rabbit. That saved the day. We've now got plenty of food. And are these mature enough? Are these mature enough to um to mate yet? Still too young. Still too young. Oh, we found a new one! Oh, it's got lovely splendid antlers! Oh, hello! But what's, what's up with your legs? What's up with your legs? Is... I, I don't know whether he's having a problem with the terrain. Oh, no, there he is. It was because we hadn't revealed the terrain. I thought maybe I'd got one with no legs. I was going to say, how's that going to work? Okay, so the berry bush has come back a little bit, but we've run out of action points. Let's hope we can find a new food source soon. Okay, what's hiding in this bush? Oh, we found a new one! It's all spotty and... Oh, I've accidentally bred! I didn't quite mean to do that. But uh, let's get you on... On the nest, our tribe is growing. Now, how are you? Oh, that hurts you as well. That's not good. That's not good. Let's come over here. These these are still too young. And are these both the same sex? Or possibly they're not close. close oh, we've run out of food again. Oh, no. What should I do? Should I... Uh, I'll skip a day and hopefully we'll get some berries back on this bush. Yes, one berry. One whole berry. Thank you. It's so tricky. It's so tricky trying to manage your tribe. You end up gathering loads of food and then forgetting about it and having a big, big old tribe to look after. They're all, they're all starving. Oh! I feel so bad for the little critters. Um, where's, what bush are we in over here? Come on, give yourself away, there we go. Hopefully this is something we can hunt. It's a rabbit! Yes! Lots of lovely food for us. Okay, check out this cutie. Wow, that's so good. And it's nice, you can see there the raised claw, and an attack strength of five! As you can tell kind of by how the paws are positioned on the model as to what kind of um, what kind of abilities the creature has. It's sort of a um, little visual indicator there to help you out. Let's see what's going on over here. I'm gonna go up there and play with these guys. Oh, we're hungry again, but there's something moving in the bushes. Oh, I think let's hope we get some more berries. Just one berry. We need, need to find some berry bushes. We really, really do. Oh, so hungry. We can, we can mate though. That's good. Need to get you onto a nest, but I'm going to wait. Oh, it's two, two bushes. I don't want to 
really want to damage them. Should I wait a day? Oh, the food supplies are so low. What's here? Oh, nothing, it's run away. Where's it gone? If this is going to be a rabbit, but at least we found another berry bush. Wow. Okay. And uh, I probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't be breeding all of these. We need to get them onto nests and we need food. There's a rabbit! Can anyone get to the rabbit? Oh, it's died! Oh, oh, it hurts so much. That's gonna chase the rabbit away. Okay, let's uh, let's try and get through. Will we be able to survive? Oh, we've chased the rabbit into the water. It's so hungry. Can you gather some food, please? Yes. Good stuff. Oh, this one's got the the, the clock. We need some that can just dig in the ground. That would be nice. Gather that berry. One berry. Okay, what's down here? Oh, it's died. It didn't get to find out. And uh, you need to get onto a nest. But we're so desperate for food. Might have to start taking some damage to try and get the berries. Yes, it's rained. The berry bushes are back in full effect. Let's stock up on food. Now, can you gather from this? Yep. Excellent. Can you gather from this? Splendid. Oh, he's a big berry, big berry gatherer. Or she is, rather. A lovely, lovely little uh, horn thing. That's new. I've not seen that before. Now we need to get you onto a uh, a nest. We've got two over there. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to have a little wander around. Uh, maybe have an explore up this way. Okay, I'm going to end my turn there. And for now, this will probably take a while to get somebody to the nest. You need to get to the nest. Oh. Okay, you can gather food. I was quite worried that we were all just going to run out of food and die horribly. Horribly. It can be very tricky. Very tricky. Sometimes, I know from playing the demo, sometimes it can look really desperate and then you end up playing for eight hours straight and other times it looks like everything is going right and then you can just wipe so, so quickly. Let's pop up here. Get some delicious berries. Gotta love the berries. Okay, now you're you're pregnant. We'd really like to get you back onto a nest. Bizarre. And we can't get around this way. And I think that hurts you if you gather berries from there. And there's oh, our tribe's really small. Are we gonna survive this? Yes, we've got some new offspring. Let's gather the berries up. Where's the, the bush is moving? What's the... Oh, I think this is a rabbit. I think we're chasing rabbits. Let's have some berries. You can have a little explorer over here. Oh, we found a new one. Hello. With long ears and spots. Splendid. Splendid. Let's just reveal some of this stuff. Uh, can anyone else make a move? No, nope, we're all done. Oh! Some, somebody took a bit of... It sounded like somebody got a bit of injury there. There you go. I think you can have a wander over here. Now, what do you like at gathering these? Oh, that, that was a mistake! That was a terrible, terrible error. 
I just want to ex reveal all of this so I can see through the grass. Now, you're, you're pregnant. We need to get you to this. Oh, we've run out of food again. Oh, how are you with the berries? Oh, that's, that was an error. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's so cute. I feel, I feel terrible. I feel terrible when I blunder my way into killing these poor creatures. Oh, we found somebody else uh, to feed. <laughs> Not old enough for mating. Oh, I've only got one action point left. I'm go I'm going to go through to the next day and hope and hope that is she taking. Is he sick? F and A. Don't know why you're taking damage. Let's have some food. Oh no, it's I I meant to click on her and put her there. Oh no, oh no, don't be killing our young ones. What's your attack like? Five. Nice. But at the same time, we've got no food. We're in a terrible, terrible conundrum. What can we do? Oh, they're starving. We need those berry bushes. Oh, we're in trouble now. We're in trouble now. Let's move you over to here. Oh, get some food down you. And... I'm just going to wait a day. Oh, it's coming for us. The berries are back, so we've got some action points so I can actually try and deal with this. This creature. Yes! But we've run out. Run out of... Um, can, can anyone get to there? No one can get to that food. I'm not sure how long the food lasts. There we go. We can mate now. But we desperately, desperately need food. Okay, let's snaffle up. That, that's excellent. Okay, guys. Well, I, I best wrap this up now. Otherwise, I'm going to be here playing this all day. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to save this. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice that I can save this game now. Don't forget, if, you, if you're if you interested in this game, I highly recommend going and downloading the demo. It really, really is uh, quite, quite fun to play. And I have spent many a day where I thought, I'll just play this for a little bit. And then eight hours later. <laughs> So, it's a bit tricky, there is no save, um, but it is it is quite fun to play, and there's, there's lots of gameplay, and it will help you learn the mechanics ready for when uh, the full version, version 00.5, is out tomorrow. Uh, thanks again to uh, Philomena for letting me have a copy of this game pre-release. Uh, really am having lots of fun playing with this. I might even do a little live stream of this later. Uh, while I record some episodes. It really is lots of fun. Hope you enjoy that. And again, a massive shout out to Stephanie Stutz. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave you now uh, with a little look at her awesome, awesome showreel on uh, Vimo. So be sure, be sure to go and check her out if you're into your art, uh, especially if you like the low poly. Make sure that you go and check out some of Stephanie's work. And uh, I'll be back sometime soon with some more niche genetic survivally funness. They're trying to keep my little tribe alive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back very, very soon.
If you like the videos, please do show some love in the comments with a like and uh, some love. And don't forget, if you haven't already, please do, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, bye bye